Good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday, everyone. <laughs> Hopefully y'all are doing well. Happy New Year and blessings. I know it's been a minute. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Lots of love, lots of love. <laughs> Sending y'all lots of love. Hey, y'all. Hey, Unique. Hey, Heather G. Hey, y'all. So this is going to be so good to see y'all too. So good to be seen, ain't? Oh my gosh, goodness gracious. Um, I'm doing all right. Thank y'all. How are y'all doing? How's life treating you in 2024 already, huh? Hopefully well. Hey, Shy. Hey, y'all. Um, so we're going to get into it. Y'all know I don't like to be labor. I like to get right into my messages. I don't be... <laughs> sitting here like i gotta wait till i get 50 people in the room no we gonna get up in here thank you for the 2024 thank you heather love 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 um you you get spirit is real unique okay spirit is real um so as always we're gonna start with the intuitive messages that i received from spirit this is a collective message meaning that it is for everybody only take what resonates with you which means what aligns with your thoughts your wishes your actions your prayers if it doesn't leave it there from one of your cousins all right um as we know i read for all signs all gender so again just take the things that apply to you and your situation so energetically intuitively there is something about 2024 uh, some of us are still walking on eggshells and god wants to know why why have you not broke through that door why have you not had that conversation with your manager why have you not approached that person that you've been crushing on why have you not y'all know this is the year of the eight you throw the eight on the side what do you get the infinity what I have sent out shall come back to me. What I have sowed, I shall reap. Now, some of us are a little afraid because we might have done some shit we had no business doing. Okay, <laughs> Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but others of us, we have been waiting on pins and needles for the blessings to come in. But this is something that I've been talking about consistently since the new year has happened with friends, family and loved ones. Um, when you going to make it happen? Because all day, God's ready to bless y'all, right? But God is not Amazon, okay? He's not DoorDash. Um, he's not Postmates, okay? He cannot just bring that blessing to your front door. In order for you to break in this new industry, whatever that is for you, you got to go do it. You got to go put that business card out there. You got to go and apply to that job. You got to go show up for that audition. You got to go get your LLC. You got to go put in the job application. You got to go apply for the loan for the house. What are you waiting for? Now, some of you are waiting for certain things. Oh, I don't have the money to get this and that. Okay, well, what can you do until the money comes in? Because some of us are not taking those steps, even if it's something as small as just being optimistic, because some of y'all have been pessimistic because it didn't happen on one one or one two. You didn't see the check. Your boss still hasn't given you the bonus or whatever it is. You haven't seen momentum, but God is looking for you to take a step so that God can then take three more. You, you put in the application. I'll make sure the right person interviews you. Right. You, you go to the bank, I'll make sure that they approve your loan, right? God is touching hearts, right? And that's what I think some of us are not maybe fully understanding about the messages that we're getting, especially those who have ear, your ears been ringing or your vision gets blurry out of nowhere and you start, you find yourself like blinking your eyes. That's because God's trying to get you to see and hear differently. We got to make it happen. We got to make it happen. We got to be accountable for us going out there to get our blessing. I'm hearing that song by Mary Mary. Uh, get your blessing. It's time to you to get your blessing. I don't I don't know. I don't know that Mary Mary song. Um, so if you've been wondering where the blessings coming in, the blessings going to come when you take that next step. Whatever that next step is, you know what it is. Some of y'all say y'all going to get out here and you want your soulmate to come in. Yet you ain't left the couch a day. DoorDash is still showing up every day with your meal. <laughs> you don't you don't communicate or conversate with nobody. <laughs> you still pushing everybody away when they ask you for your number or you being hard nosed about asking for a number. So whatever it is, everybody's not looking for love. Everybody's not looking to open a business. Everybody's not looking to break through in a spiritual way. What is it for you? What did you come into this year talking about you were going to get? Have you taken any steps to get there? That's what God is saying. All right. Woo. I'm hearing take time to take time. Some of y'all maybe have a job 
or multiple things that keep you busy all the time? Where are the healthy boundaries that we were talking about? Where is that? No, I can't. No, I don't have that extra. No, I'm not going to be able to in a loving way. Like I love you, but I don't have that extra 150 because that needs to go in my savings account because I'm getting ready to open this business or I'm about to go get my LLC or come on, y'all. Y'all, I feel like some of some of us are reaching too far when God's like that simple step is right here. I ain't asked you to go out there and make 2.5 million happen and come back to me and I'll tell you what's next. No, I just asked you to go get your LLC. I just asked you to go ahead and talk to your manager about the bonus. You know what I mean? I just asked you to go and apply for that job. That's that's it. It's simple steps that I feel like some of us are not doing because the 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 big blessing that yacht life with the millions on millions and being financially free, that life seems so right out there somewhere. But God's saying, I just told you to focus right here. You all the way. I got that. I got this. But do you have this? That's all God's asking. Okay. Let me get off my soapbox and get into these cards. We'll just see what comes out. <laughs> but God got y'all. There's, there's, if there's silence... It's because you have not taken action. God don't got no more words. I've told you. I've shown you. You know that you are going to be blessed. You keep listening to these readings about you're at the end of the rainbow and this amazing thing is going to happen. Some of y'all have been told to play the lottery. You ain't never played a lottery a day in your life. Whatever you, but you keep hearing you need to go play, but still haven't played it. Follow it. Angel numbers are on a million right now. 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's it's nine 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 seven 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 eight 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 oh eight four oh four six oh six nine thirty two ten ten twelve is that somebody's birthday ten twelve y'all are seeing these synchronicities you're seeing birth dates you're seeing triple numbers you're seeing forward movement numbers meaning three four five six seven eight meaning we are moving forward right <laughs> or you're getting triples God's trying to tell you what God's trying to tell you three times over right. <laughs> just i'm putting it out there it's it i'm hearing it is your time okay exhaust exhaustion depletion drained it's been a long journey in the and i'm hearing in the fast lane i'm also hearing highway to hell so some of y'all may have felt like this has been like a hellish ass journey <laughs> trust me i get it it's been 2023 was a motherfucker okay Child, it ain't nothing but the grace of God that some of us got through 2023. So let's go deeper. Let's see what else comes out here. And again, in the fast lane. So whether you were living in the fast lane or you just feel like so much kept coming up on your journey that you could not catch your breath. It was like bop, 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 bop. I get smacked with my taxes. I get smacked at work. I get smacked in love. I get smacked. I get smacked. I get smacked. This feels like 2023 just felt like a whole lot, a whole lot of. Go further. Loyalty, trusting, reliability, and believing. This is what God wants you to do. It's almost like God is this dog trying to be, <laughs> let me give you some flowers to ease it over until you get, we friends again. God want to know, are we friends again? Your angel and your spirit team want to know, are y'all friends again? Like I, I promise everything I took you through was not in vain. I, I love you. Like that's what I feel like. Um, you were loyal to the journey, so now God's going to be loyal to you. That's really what the number one message that I see there. Also, something about getting your flowers, right? So if you need to get recognized for something, this might not be at your corporate job because the first thing that I heard was family. Maybe family has not recognized how much you've been a pillar through this difficult year. Maybe they don't recognize how much money you spent, how much time you gave, how much you you will throw things to the side to be there for friends, for family, for loved ones. I feel like there's also some type of recognition there. Um, I'm not going to talk about what I see because these are surprises for y'all, but there could be a surprise later on in the year. Not going to talk about it because I want y'all surprised to be a surprise, but there could be a surprise later on in the year for y'all from a lover, a loved one, a lover or a loved one. Chasing, pursuing, tox, uh, pursuit, toxicity, and resilience. Distraction. Okay. So I do feel like there's been someone that's been chasing you down energetically. Um, this could be an old friend or this could be an old lover. 
Take it how it resonates for you. Someone who may have tried to distract you and or delay you from your purpose. This would be someone who maybe gave you a situationship for a long time, drug out your relationship. Or if it's in a friend level, it could be someone like, oh, your little business is cute, but never really supported you, right? It was like, we can be friends as long as you don't make more than me. We can be friends as long as you kind of stay under me. It's almost like somebody just kind of wanted to be 10 steps ahead of you and kind of get, get you to feed more into them and their life then they were feeding into yours. Now this person kind of wishes they still had you around because you had good insight. You were a safe place. You're somebody who is balanced. Like you look for spiritual healing and wisdom. You don't go through things to just keep going through the shit, right? It might take you two, three times. But once you figure it out, it's like, let me apply this lesson so I can stop driving myself crazy doing the same old shit. So whoever this person is, yeah, it could be a secret admirer, someone who's suppressing... Um, suppressing how they really feel about you. If this is a friendship, this could have been like that single white female. If y'all ever seen that movie where the girl basically wanted to be the other girl, got her hair cut the same way, started wearing the same clothes, everything. Even I think even tried to kill her so that she could have her lover. Um, this could be something like that. You might have a friend that's been like jealous and gave you that icky energy. Like this bitch might be trying to be like me. And when I say this bitch, that can be a man or a woman because we know a man or a woman can be a bitch. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> Let me pull that back. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, though. After I split the deck, I ended up getting shallow. Like I said, this person is hollow. They're empty. They're bored. Um, you must have brought something really, really great to their life. Really, really great. You were just a, you were a pillar of shine and brilliance in their life. You were almost like a muse to this person. And I don't think they understand that they were energetically getting all of their creativity and their spontaneity. And uh, they were absorbing part, part of your personality, male or female, because I'm also saying a man who maybe used to be really quiet, really meek. He was like maybe the nerdy guy and then he starts hanging out with you and now he wants to be big man on campus out of nowhere, right? Like, just, like, you know when someone cracks a joke that you know they probably don't have no real reference in so they don't deliver the joke right and then the whole room just gets quiet and looks at them like, where did that even come from? That type, and like this person just started being more like you and less like themselves. Okay. And if it's a lover, don't even get me started there. Ciao, bye. Okay. Because they wanted, they wanted you to sit on the bench. Because this is, okay, I just heard, um, I'm going to put you in the game. Or put me in the game, coach, is what I heard. So if it's a lover situation, it was someone who probably kept you on the bench. Like I said, a situationship. Something where they just drug the relationship out and would never propose. And again, now it's like, damn, like you were their star player. You were the MVP. I'm also seeing like you're like if they could give you a jersey, they would hang your jersey. Is that what they do when they retire the jerseys? They hang them up in the in the stadium. That is not a compliment. Is somebody like a sports fanatic? I mean, I guess it's a compliment, but it's not really because you're basically just like putting notches on a belt. In my opinion, that's just me. It's like your own little personal shrine of anyways. Some nut stuff. <laughs> Conflicted decisions, hot and cold, and multiple choices. So I'm going to read this two ways. One, in regards to your own life. I think some of you are kind of conflicted in regards to which way to go in 2024. I don't have time to waste. I don't have energy to waste. I don't have money to waste. 2023 took a lot out of me. I don't have it to do. Some of y'all may think, let me just take maybe a break because I'm getting like that five o'clock happy hour kind of energy. Like, I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to go have a little drink, calm down, get my thoughts together and get my plan together. I'm hearing business plan, vision boards, um, brainstorming. Thank you, spirit. Let's get all the thoughts out is what I'm hearing. Purge it. Everything. It doesn't matter. It could be one word. It could be frustrated, broke, need more money, <laughs> break through my business. Like, just get it out. Something about just getting it out. And it may not make sense. I'm even seeing some of y'all may end up just doing a voice note to yourself and just ranting and raving about things in 2023 so that you can make sense of it. Because right now, I feel like some of y'all are not making sense of it. Now, on the other side, we know that this means that person that, like I said, had multiple people on the bench. And I think that their decisions is what has now made you hot and cold with them. And they don't like it. Um, and when I say hot and cold, it's more like you say something stupid, I'm going to fire off on your ass. But other than that, I'm chill as a cucumber. You get what I'm saying? 
sometimes that could be hilarious. Um, memories, reminiscing, dwelling, and bittersweet. Again, this goes two ways. Some of y'all are looking back on 2023 in a bittersweet way. Some things were really, really good, but some things were really, really difficult. And I don't want that. Y'all know how we manifest. We don't manifest by, by putting energy into what we don't want because that's what shows up. You put energy into manifesting what you want visualizing speaking it out speaking as if you're already there y'all know me i am that delusional person let me go outside and warm up the porsche girl because let me get that started and get get everything in the back girl you ain't got no porsche yes the hell i do now i don't know what you see out there but i see a porsche and until god makes it a porsche i'm gonna call it a porsche because god knows that it needs to come so there's something about that speaking into existence yeah no more like i said y'all are tired of waiting so I'm hearing plan. Then if you're tired of waiting, plan the attack is what I'm hearing. What you going to do? What's your plan? I know what I'm going to give you, but what's your plan? So there's something about that. All right. I just heard Moscow, Mos Moscow mules. Somebody may like Moscow mules. I'm hearing Jameson, Jacks. Oh, no, Jack Daniels. <laughs> That's what the JD, <laughs> Jack Daniels. Okay. <laughs> That's what that is. Shout out to my granddad. <laughs> he used to tell me, go get my medicine over there out the refrigerator. It'll be a bottle of Jack Daniels on this thing, <laughs> on the door in the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm steady in there looking for some real medication. Um, anyways, new beginnings try again or go toward newer towards a new direction or start over what are we doing y'all plant this, this i feel like the seeds have already been planted it's like what you gonna do with this harvest and the harvest can be anything maybe the money's not here but the creative idea is here right maybe you were looking for some support of someone who can help you fill bottles for your your product and your cousins was like girl i'll come over and help you fill bottles i'll come over and deliver your packages whatever this is for you everyone's gonna be different but Let's make it happen. <laughs> this person that's broke, this person that's chasing is broken. They're shattered. You really, yet? Hey, y'all just seen me shuffle and cut this deck and this person came up again. You got a seeker admirer, a friend who still wishes they could be your friend, someone who's at their breaking point. This could be an ex-lover. But someone notices just how much goodness you brought to their life. Like you were, a, I keep hearing you were my safe place. <sighs> yeah, this cloudy judgment got them where they at now. This cloudy ass judgment. Now they in a fantasy because they feel abandoned or they abandoned you. Either way, you were their family. You were their friend. You were their safe place so it seems like this is the energy of people friends family lovers um oh let me make sure y'all can see it this is the energy of friends family and lovers who are still holding on to you that you said you're not fooling with in 2024 so this is that 2023 energy that doesn't want to let you go this could even be an old if family friends or lover don't work for you this could be co-workers or an old boss that did somebody leave their job or you recently put in your two weeks? If you've had a discussion talking about you ready to leave because they're not giving you what you need, your, your manager or if it's not your manager, it's their manager that is pissed off that you're not here. I keep hearing where are we going to find another one of you? Wow, that's deep. And it's all because somebody didn't want you to shine so that okay thank you spirit let me break that down a little bit more for y'all real quick and then i'll get back into the other I, the reason why i said it's two people above you is because your boss might have been jealous of you and never really telling their boss how good of a worker you were and for that reason because of their jealousy that they didn't want you to surpass them now their boss so your boss's boss is pissed off because you're not there making the company look good anymore. All because someone was jealous that you would possibly become better than them, get a higher position than them. Okay, so that's the that's the corporate side. If that's your if, if that's your story. <laughs> Moving back in over here though, 
Um, it's definitely time for y'all to come out of that procrastination energy going back and forth, the optimism on Monday, but pessimistic on Tuesday. It's time for some balance. If y'all don't hear it, I got my, my chakra healing music in the background. You know what I mean? Let's get back into our meditation and prayer. Like whatever you were doing that was keeping you centered and focused, let's bring that back. Let's at least try it, right? Everybody's not going to be sitting around holding crystals and nam ya ho reggae kyo like we're not all going to be that person okay i'm not asking y'all to turn into tina turner may she rest so peacefully queen but what i am saying is whatever made you feel balanced peaceful focused on fire for you whatever had you doing self care meaning healthy boundaries saying no doing what the fuck you want to do and that could be a nap on a sunday instead of helping a friend move because you need a goddamn nap Whatever it is that you were doing that made you feel like you, you need to get back to it. Okay? Some of y'all, it's the eating habits. You started eating bad and then you just haven't gotten back on it. Let's get some fresh fruits and vegetables inside you. We'll see how that thing spring back. Some of y'all need to get back to your teas and coming off that coffee. Listen, I love a good caramel macchiato. You can ice that bitch, freeze that bitch, keep it hot and piping. Give me a, a hot caramel macchiato any day but i know i can't have it every day right i gotta come on back get my detox tea in me you know take care of me so there's something about just taking care of you okay um also be loyal to the journey that you've already begun y'all know what, what god told i'm talking to a crowd that either has some type of industry niche talent you've already it's already been proven that you're supposed to be on this journey keep going just keep going all right, let me get a card here, and then I guess I'm flipping out of this and going to another. Okay, let's talk about the power of surrender. I'm going to see what we need to surrender, get something from the spirit team, and then I guess I'm after that, I'm going to do a collective love reading, okay? All right, let's see here. <laughs> as soon as I took it out, it's surrender resentment. So whatever you didn't do in 2023, get it done in 2024. 2024, let's just call it the year of you reap what you sow. And I want us to take that in a positive note, right? We normally hear it in a negative, right? I want y'all to reverse that thing. Nah, because I know I planted some good seeds. I ain't, I ain't been nothing but positive. Even that person that did me wrong, I wish them good to God instead of wrapping my hands around that neck. And for that reason, God's going to bless me. Because <laughs> I could have I took the bitch out. You, hear me? you feel what I'm saying? I could have been clank, clank, locked up is all I'm saying. But I took a high road. And for that reason, <laughs> God is going to open the levees. <laughs> ah, it can be too silly. All right, give me two cards. Two cards. I know that's right. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to magic of every, I'm sorry, open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. This is that whole year. This is this whole year. Put the fire in where you need to, the action, right? But also when you need to chill out, cool out, rest and rejuvenate, do that. It's a balance, okay? I ain't gonna get too deep. We already done talked about y'all body, but don't nobody wanna hear me when I be saying y'all need to eat better and do and get up and walk around, but don't nobody wanna hear me, you know? you know whatever um just kidding surrender to the wisdom of your body listen to your body's messages about a person or situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you are energized and happy move forward especially about the co-workers and the friends that i was telling y'all about you feel the ick when you're around them for a reason at the bottom of the deck is surrender denial Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. And if that doesn't help, I'm going to tell y'all it's divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Meaning keep doing what you've been doing until God brings it to fruition. Just like that last blessing came right on time. That's what we need to, maybe that's what we need to start reminding ourselves is, is it happened before. That in that umpteenth hour, when I needed that car, 
when I needed to get that rent paid, when I needed, when I needed, when I needed, something happened and I was blessed with that silver lining. Remind yourself of that. All right. Get something from the spirit team and then we're going to go right into um, a collective love reading, apparently. All right. Let's see here, spirit. What does the spirit team have for y'all when it comes to this? Is just a general collective message? General collective message. Oh, God. Why are you always kicking my cards off the table? Jesus. I seen it, so I got to take it. Thank you, spirit. All right, one moment. Let me get this other card that flew over to the second coming of Jesus. All right. First card out is beauty. I am a spark of divinity. Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows without question my own beauty, worthiness, and desirability. Let me remember constantly who I am, love itself in a temporary human form. Mystery, I rest in the unknown. Change me, divine beloved, into one who rests peacefully in the unknown until the right and timely actions are shown. I offer the mystery to you alone. And I'm hearing something about sleep peacefully and knowing that God got it covered. So some of y'all might not have been sleeping well. And at the bottom of the deck, I have highest good. I am a conduit. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can let you act through me. I offer myself to you. May I be a conduit for your blessings. Use me for the highest good. Y'all already have within you all you need. This is almost like her displaying all the things that she's taken on in 2023, but also all the things that she's asking God to take care of in 2024. Okay. I will try my absolute best to put this on YouTube. I must have a hater in the midst because none of my videos, none of them <laughs> will download from TikTok, <laughs> which I just laugh at because, because you tripping. Can nobody take my shine? Can nobody hold me down? Oh, no, I got to keep on moving. <laughs> That's the song I just heard. So when it comes to the message that we just had, can't nobody stop you from doing what you do. You were born to do what you do because only you can do it the way that you do it, how you do it, because only you can do it, baby. Right. I don't there's a million singers out here, but only one Whitney Houston, only one Michael Jackson. Right. I don't. Hey. Hey, get in where you fit in and baby, take up all of your space. Do you hear me? God gave you all this space. You take all of your space up. You don't let nobody take not even a corner, not a centimeter. Bitch, get that pinky toe up off. Thank you. This is my stage. Take up space in 2024. All right. Ooh, this is a you versus them reading. Okay. Gotcha. This is going to actually be a you versus them is what I just heard. All right. La 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 la. What's this song? This is Method Man and Red Man. La 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 la. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I don't play around. I, sh I shoot that gnarled, crusty, pinky toe the fuck off your foot now. <laughs> Ain't that what he said on Harlem Nights? Get that pinky toe up. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, no, I'm not. We're not playing around. All right, we're not. Hey, Nay. Nay, the groomer in the building. All right, let's get this you versus them. Somebody said, daydreaming and I'm thinking to you, daydreaming and I'm thinking to you. That's another song I, I just heard. You are the sun, uh, you are the sunshine of my life, Stevie Wonder. Don't take your love away. That's Avant. Don't take your love away by Avant. I don't know what this uh oh how can how can you mend broken how can you mend broken hearts how can you mend is that al green y'all correct me if i'm wrong i don't think that's teddy p i think that's al green how can you mend broken how can i how can you mend broken hearts what is going on who is down and out in their feelings Whew. i guess we're gonna find out in a minute you should uh mario you should let me love you can't breathe with no air what Somebody at home listening to the saddest of songs, I feel like. 
Okay, one more time. We're going to get into this you versus them reading. Um, if you don't know how that works, either your energy, your thoughts, your actions are on the left or they're on the right. The, um, how you'll know is as I start to give the storyline, that's how you're able to know which side you're on. The opposite side would be your person. Only take what resonates. I read for all genders, all signs. If it doesn't resonate with you, meaning if it doesn't align with your thoughts, your actions, your prayers, your wishes, then you leave it there for someone else. All right. All right. Let's get into it. How could you let somebody lay what I lay? How could you give them everything that you gave? I, who is this? How could you do all the things you never said you'd never be? How could you? How could you? I don't know this song. How could you? I know it, but I don't. I don't. I don't know it. I don't remember the artist. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not neighbors gonna know my name. Ooh. Okay. I guess <laughs> Mario. Okay, <laughs> I just and I just sang Mario like two seconds ago. Okay, we're gonna just keep one twelve. Your letter, cause your letter. I haven't heard that in a long time. Your letter. Oh, that's a good one. All right, on the left side. Okay, I guess you're coming right out the gate. Playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together, and remember, love is the greatest healer. This person, okay, the person on the left wants to laugh it off, wants to play it off, like, ha ha, I was just kidding when I was cheating on you. Like, no, nah, I don't mean it that way. <laughs> like, somebody's trying to be funny to come back. Somebody doesn't want the difficult conversation. Um, they don't want all this admitting what they need to admit. Like, let's just sweep it under the rug. <laughs> okay. We'll see how that goes in a second. But this person on the left just wants, and, and it could be them wanting to get back to y'all just having fun and being funny with each other. But <laughs> y'all energy be cracking me up, but we not doing that is what I just seen. Like, I wish, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start channeling when y'all looking at me because I know my facial expressions be on a bean. It's like, yeah, but we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. Did y'all just hear some shit drop in my, in my damn, I don't know what just fell over. I'm about to tell somebody's business. Y'all get in here, get in here. Cause I'm about to tell somebody's business. <laughs> they don't even want y'all to know what's about to be told. <laughs> I love getting the tea. Come on spirit. Let's do this. I might be here for a little while. Give me the goods. They got all these cards. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay, on the left side. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show y'all the front of that card. I think somebody said, where's the artistry? So that's, like I said, they want to get back to y'all. They want to get back to snuggling and cuddling and chat. Was it really loud, Karina? So y'all could hear that. I don't know what the hell that could be, child. I don't have nothing sitting high up on no place. So we're going to figure that out later. Y'all calm down in there, spirit. Make me say Archangel Michael in there to bust somebody's ass. So this is the next card out and it says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change when we resist change when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads so this person keeps trying to be funny playful all that stoop when they could just be serious with you and address the situation that happened between the two of you. And then maybe we can have some forward movement. But you just playing like ain't nothing happened or playing like you didn't say what you said or you didn't do what you did. We're not, that's, not gonna, that's not gonna take us anywhere. Yeah, transformation, that's what this person would like to have. Your relationship with another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And the thing is this person may think like, they may be take, okay, slow down spirit, it's a lot. This person, even if you don't think that they re, uh, watch readings, they do. I'm telling you, I'm not asking. I'm not. No, this person watches readings. Even, maybe they, they were already spiritual when you met them. If not, since they've met you, they've started watching readings. And they keep hearing that this twin flame. I hate this damn. I hate people do this. Twin flames have to come back together. No, the fuck we don't. Okay. <laughs> a lot of us never come together at all because people can't get off their high horse and ego to heal. So this person may think y'all are about to transform to be this great couple, not knowing that it's going to transform, but you're going to be a great couple with someone else. 
because they have not shifted their energy to be coupled with an emperor or an empress because that's the energy I got down here. I'm going to keep moving. I ain't going to stay on my soapbox too much. That's the next card out. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. Well, damn it, if it ain't, if I didn't tell you a second ago, <laughs> acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So if your person, if Mr. or Mrs. Right told Mr. or Mrs. Left that I'm gone, I'm transforming and moving, you just got to accept that thing. You just got to accept that for what it is. Look inside yourself. Examine. Examine what is calling you, causing you to feel this way. I, to me, real self-explanatory. This person is playing around, not being serious, not looking at what they did as, oh, you could just, you'll be all right. I mean, yeah, I might have cheated and strung you along for five years, but you won't be all right. Like, what? The, like, that's... And maybe that's not true to your specific situation, but whatever it is, this person is brushing it off like it was nothing. And that further pisses you off in this exact, somebody is pissed off in this exact moment that I just said that. And I apologize to you. Okay. <laughs> somebody just got, a bunch of y'all actually just got real pissed off that this person still don't take this, like still brushing it off like it was nothing. And you done spent time crying, healing, trying to understand what the fuck was going on and why you stayed there so goddamn long. And this person just thinks that we was in goddamn ar arcade playing Roblox or some shit. Like, so calm down. Ooh, babies, give me a hug. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna see our way through this, okay? It's gonna be all right. <laughs> Let's move to the right side. First card out is time, but we're going to look at the front. Uh, if you have this tattooed or a heart, some type of, um, is this like a, it looks like a plant, like a, like a, like a, either a snake or a plant is tattooed around someone's arm or someone's ankle, right? Or if you possibly have a cross or the star of David. Okay, thank you, spirit. Got to move on. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. And this is in a number. Okay, some of y'all are trying to speed up the healing process. Like, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm fine. It's whatever. Like, I'm good. I'm good. No. Because I've seen someone put 20 years up here, and I'm not sure who said that, but 20 years don't just heal in two days. Five years don't heal in two days. Hell, some of us have been in a 30-day whirlwind romance that don't heal in two days. Give yourself time. And I'm not saying you shouldn't date. You do what you want to do. You're a grown-ass person. But what I'm saying is acknowledge the connection you had here really hurt you. That's it. And heal it. I'm not saying, oh, it hurt me and I need to fall out and be a victim. No, I'm saying, you know what? I did let you in. I put my guard down. I trusted you. I gave you pieces of me that I have never even thought of possibly giving to someone else. And I let you in. I shared things with you. And it's unfortunate that you took it all as a motherfucking joke. But it's cool because the right one will come along. And what I'm proud of is the fact that I know, Mr. or Mrs. Right, that you know that when the right one comes along, that you have the strength to open up to that level. That you are someone who should be adored and loved genuinely, unconditionally, right? And I know sometimes that's so cliche, but sometimes that's the motherfucking silver lining. Is that this person's not ready for something that serious, but you are. And when that right person comes along, you're going to open up and they're going to meet you there, right? So that's all I'm saying. To all my tree lovers and huggers, tree people, if you happen to connect with tree people in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Also, I'm seeing something about curvaceous bodies. So if you're looking to tone, this is the time. I'm hearing out, outdoor workouts will work tremendously and using your own body weight would be so much better than getting on any type of ellipt elliptical or treadmill. So your own body weight, free weights, and getting outside, okay? Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Like I said, 
you've already been tried and tested of being vulnerable and opening your heart and giving to somebody, right? So now you're in alignment for real love. Not this. This ain't real love. This is somebody playing around. I got to be honest. Um, real quick, because I have um, a plethora of lovers that passed away. So if you had a lover, and this could be even as young as like you were 13, and by the time you turned 18, this person like got murdered or might have passed away. If you have a lover on the other side that you still miss, this could be um, a wife, a husband. This could have been a, just someone you dated, a boyfriend or girlfriend that passed on. Um, they're helping you align with the person that is right for you. And I'm hearing something like, I owe you that, or I want to give you that, or I want to gift you that because you were such a, you were such a genuine person to this person. So if you have a lover, I'm not talking about an uncle or a, no, I'm talking about a lover that passed away, male or female. I'm, I have a large group over here of those who have loved you in this life, in this life, that want to help you find your ultimate partner in this life. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Sorry, I just got real hot channeling that message. Y'all must have had some fiery times together. And like I said, I'm getting as young as like 13. You might have grew up together. Y'all might have dated for a little while and this person ended up passing away. Um, but either way, okay. Um, forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on the past for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality um, by what you think, dream, and imagine. Um, forgiveness is not... I, I was listening to something today. I was watching my 600-pound life. I'm just put it out there. And she was talking about forgiveness. And she was like, that old saying that forgiveness is not for the other person, it's for you. To release you from the burden of the situation. That person's going to accept the forgiveness whenever they accept it and release themselves. But you sending it and you accepting it is what releases you from the, the stronghold. So the stronghold of this. And then for anyone who has, a, 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 like I said, a wife, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a husband that passed over. Any forgiveness there. Like I could have did more. I should have said more. I should have showed them more. Anything like that. Forgive yourself for that as well. Okay. If, it re if that part resonates with you. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Let me see what else comes out. <laughs> I don't know why. Ooh. I'm tired of y'all kicking my damn cards. All right, let's see what comes out. Oop, I just kicked the camera. Sorry, y'all. Let's see. So maybe that's the time country grammar, Nelly country grammar. Maybe that is around the time frame that the person that's passed over. And, it, and again, if it resonates with you, but I just heard that. And, or it could just be that he, he or she liked you with all your clothes off. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I just seen the country grammar album. So if that means anything to anybody, Saint, if St. Louis, ain't that where you're from? St. Louis. Memphis. Okay, here we go. Memphis, Tennessee. Queens, New York, the Bronx, Brooklyn. Okay, listen. Anytime New York be in the building on the other side, they everybody got to shout their borough out. <laughs> New York be coming through. <laughs> I just heard up the hill, down the hill. So Baltimore in the building. Miami. I don't know what that place is in Texas. So I'm just going to shout out all the Texas because it's a very Hispanic name that I don't think I'm, I'm not going to butcher that. I'm not going to butcher that. <laughs> is somebody from a Dakota, a North or South Dakota? Well, shout out to you, love. I don't know what y'all get into out there, but bless your heart. <laughs> uh, Detroit. All right, let's see what else we got here. What's Cambridge, Massachusetts? Thank you, Cambridge. All right, let's go on the left side. Okay, well, at least we know why they're silent. They're frozen, they have no words, they are a stone wall. And I feel like this they're keeping this, this silence, this unbothered face, or this they're trying to have unbothered energy because um, they don't know what to do. <laughs> They don't know how to get through to you. They just, they, what do I do? Because I'm here and you're not playing anymore. So right side, this left side energy, they know you're not playing anymore. 
Maybe they used to always get you to laugh. They could get you to break the ice. They could break the ice and then you would, you know, you would warm up to them. You're not. You're not. I'm hearing plan of attack. Why would you want to attack? Never mind. I've heard plan of attack. Let's keep going. See what else comes out on the left side. Yeah. Turmoil. Trouble. Unexpected. Shocking. It was there. Yeah, I bet. Like I said, this person is just like, uh, so you're not going to. No, I'm not going to play. No, I'm not coming back. No, I don't want you to explain. Like right side. Don't give a shit. No more. Leave. I mean, also here and leave me alone. <laughs> this card comes back for oh four 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 conflicted hot and cold multiple choices they're all over the place this person on the left is starting to get on my damn nerves <sighs> just starting to work my nerve like person on the left whoever you are you need to go figure you out my love you are all oh, one minute you want to come back and play house. The next minute you want to be silent and 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 in your victim mode. And the next minute you want to have multiple partners and you want to be out here acting like you that that girl or that guy. You got some purging and, some, and I'm hearing you might hit a tower moment. So if you don't fix it, God's gonna fix it for you. So just on the lookout, fantasy, daydreaming, and that fan. You gotta come about this fantasy. I'm also hearing like if y'all started dating when y'all were in your 20s and you're now in your 30s and you're in the same position that you were, hello? Like that's what, real quick on my own little soapbox, that's what be pissing me off sometimes. When people think that they hadn't put their nose in the air at you, like you still living in that same little raggedy ass basement. You still not doing nothing for yourself. You still ain't heal shit. You still the same person that you was forever. Walking on people, thinking that you eat like egotistical and shit. Like if your life has not increased, and I'm not talking about finances, you need to look at you and stop pointing fingers at other people. You trying your best to get smoke and mirrors because behind that, behind them doors is some fucked up unhealed shit. Let's call it like we see it. This person put on a mask every time they leave out their door. They're not happy with their circle. This person here is not happy with their circumstances. They keep, I'm sorry, the reason why I said it like that, because energetically they keep trying to tell me like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm straight. I'm good. No, the fuck you not. Sleeping on that couch. At 38, I don't give a shit how, who, who don't like that I said it neither. No, you shouldn't be 38 sleeping on the motherfucking couch. No, you shouldn't. You should be stable. What have you been doing? All uh, Your 20s? Okay, you fucked off your 20s. All right. You going into your 40s and you ain't got shit to show for yourself? Let me hush. Because I feel like I'm on somebody's soapbox and I don't feel like it's my own because I don't know this person. I feel like somebody is like, I, I don't see no growth in your life and I'm not about to attach myself to that succubus ass energy. You're not going to do anything but bring me back down to the same stagnant, content place that you're in and it ain't happening to me. All right. I was, I just heard daydreaming and I'm thinking to you, that's funny, hoping, expecting, having faith to manifest. But how can you manifest in the muck that you're in? So somebody wants you to come back. They daydream about you coming back. They're conflicted on how to do it. They're shocked that you won't talk to them. They're shocked that they can't get a laugh or a rise out of you. This person is a jigsaw puzzle. This is like a Tetris game on steroids over here. All over the goddamn place. Right, because they're still doing what? Then not listen, chasing thrills, having a good time, living in ecstasy, taking ecstasy for some of them. MDMA, is that what? Yeah, MDMA. Uh, that's Molly. What the fuck? So your person might be out here trying some other shit. That's not going to resonate for everybody. And well, but it is the truth. Ain't that a bitch? Um, <laughs> I'm also hearing I see you with a clear eye view. See me. Is that a Jay-Z? That's a Jay-Z line. See me with a clear eye view. I don't, know, I don't know that song, but yes. Because it's that secret admirer energy again. So this person knows. They have clarity that you're not going to play the game. They miss the chemistry. They miss the spark. This person on some nut shit, Patch. You on some nutty stuff, Patch. Thank y'all so much for all the gifts. I appreciate you. Thank y'all for tuning in. Let's get started on the right side because... 
Left side is like musical chairs, Tetris, chess, Jenga, all wrapped in one. And I'm not here for it. They need to get their shit together. What's going on on the right side? I also hear something about the readings they've been getting about their toxic behavior. They do resonate with it. And in that moment that they're watching, they're like, I need to, I need to get my shit together. Within about five minutes of that reading or within five minutes of one phone call to go chase thrills, they throw that whole thing out the, oh, I'll get back to it. I got time. Somebody thinks they have all the time in the world. You going to be that 75-year-old down there at the VFW in your prom suit trying to get one of these little 30-year-olds. You keep fucking around. I'm telling you. <laughs> or your prom dress. You keep, keep fucking around. You going to be... Ooh, champ. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I done snorted. Right side. Because <laughs> I don't know if that was right or wrong to say, but I'll stand by it. I'm a 10 toes down on what I said. Yep. Mm -mm. Sitting there in your suspenders or in your, in your house coat for the ladies in your house coat. Talking about, Jim, give me one more while you're trying to take one of these young tenderonies home. Looking crazy. But let me go on the right side. <sighs> Sidetrack, changed, and delays. Like I said, and we already know that time takes time. So what, is, what are y'all not focused on, right? What are y'all not putting energy into to make it happen? And or what internally can you do? Because some of y'all do still need to purge this person out your system. Some of y'all may just need to take some spa days and just relax and heal because 2023 was a motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? What do you need to do? And there's something about solitude. I'm hearing solo missions, solo trips, solo time. So it's time for you to take time. Purge that last little bit. Heal something, cleanse something, relax and rejuvenate is what I'm hearing. So over here, I don't feel like there's a lot of action. Obviously, those who know that they need to get some shit done, get it done. Stop procrastinating so that you can go have that solo trip or do whatever it is in a solo mission. There are no delays. It's only God's time at this point. The only thing that can delay you is you. So if you, again, like we go back to the beginning of the reading, if you haven't put that application in, how are you going to get that job? God said, gave you a vision that you were getting this business loan, but you ain't fill out the loan application. God gave you a vision that your Etsy shop was going to blow up, but you ain't open the Etsy shop. Like, whoop. That's all. I'm just say that. Go further. Oh, because you know this is your twin flame over here. Acting a fool. I mean, it's like letting 16 toddlers go in a damn Walmart. This person can't get their shit together. Um, you already know that this connection that you have was something spiritual. I will say that whether it was a, you feel like it was a twin flame. I don't like saying karmic twin flames because my thing is a karmic relationship is just that. It's, there's no karmic twin flame in my opinion. But I do feel like you feel like this person was some type of soulmate twin flame connection, something that came along to teach you something. And it's unfortunate that this person also did not want to continue to grow and learn as you were continuing to grow and learn. Who's, I, okay, we're not going to do names. Oop, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me unplug this charger then. Oof, let's do that. All right, there we go. Right side, let's go further. Thinking, missing you, craving and desiring. I'm not going to lie. Around either Christmas or New Year's, it was like, man, I could use some of that good. You get what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I mean when I say what I say when I'm saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all was hoping to see the back of your kneecaps, even though you would not circle the block to go do it because that would just start some more toxic shit. Some of y'all do still miss this person. Like I said, this if especially if it's a twin flame, chow bye. Them sheets ain't never been soaked up like it was with that twin flame. All right. Listen, y'all damn near had a water bed fucking around with that person every night. Okay, don't, don't. You ain't got to lie to Auntie. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. <laughs> <laughs> but in the midst of you missing this person or craving the things that y'all did have, reality comes through very clearly that I can sit here and I can get my rose out <laughs> or my pocket pee 
and I can handle it real quick and then I can move on. So some of y'all might've been doing that. I'm gonna tell you now, make sure that you are cleansing and calling back your energy. Don't call that person in energetically while you're doing what you're doing with your thing, okay? I'm just saying, energy is energy. You keep calling and craving that person in the middle of that, you might start something and knock on your door or you go to the grocery store and they hanging out in the bushes, then, then what? But I'm just saying, I do feel that energy. Um, I don't know, this sounds like an Alicia Keys song, but it's playing very somberly. So maybe y'all have been playing somber music. I'm even hearing like Amy Winehouse, Yeba, um, PJ Morton, maybe some Janae Aiko, like just very somber, Sade. I'm hearing Sade. Um, you know, y'all probably been playing like some, some more... I don't hear no booty bounce music. And sometimes with y'all, y'all be over here, you know, hands on your knees, hands on your knees. But that's not <laughs> right now. It just seems like more mood music, soulful music. Um, I just heard Marsha Ambrosius might be another one. Flow a tree, Lauren Hill, like neo soul kind of vibes. Because you know that that was your masculine energy. You know that that would be, listen, y'all have clarity on who this person was. I need y'all to stop denying it. Because some of y'all, when y'all think, you're like, but that wasn't even my person. Yeah, it was. This motherfucker just didn't get on the boat. That's all. He just, he or she didn't get on the boat. And it's unfortunate, but I feel like, stop denying that piece, okay? Stop denying that this person wasn't a soulmate, a twin flame, a, a, a real deep connection for you, okay? Some of y'all feel like y'all feel this pull because it's the divine masculine still thinking about you. And that's causing you to think about them. Um, yeah, but no, <laughs> I love you, but no, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Did something flip? No, I guess it didn't. All right. Oh, well that came out the side. Yeah. Um, see, don't, don't do, don't do auntie. Like don't be pretending in my goddamn face. Y'all love that person and it's okay. It's okay. It hurts like fuck that they did not come along on the journey. Right. But it's okay. I just heard somebody used to pack it up, flip it. Oh, oh, back it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. Okay, sorry. If you know the song, you know the song. <laughs> One more here for the right side. Yeah. Exactly. Y'all had an open heart with this person. Like I said earlier, you let this person in on, on details and depths that you might not have ever opened up with anyone else, but now you're withdrawn. I don't feel like a lot of y'all are lonely. I just feel like it's an alone energy. Let me just take time to take time to myself. I know that I gave a lot to someone who did not reciprocate all of the love that I gave into them, right? I was hurt. It took me a minute. And a lot of y'all are empaths, so you feel your person, you hear your person, like you got deep with this person, you prayed over them. Like there's a lot of things that you did with this person that you did not do for a lot of people. And that hurt that you would like really take advantage of all of that. Some of y'all feel like everything that you gave might've been in vain. Just, just please know that it is not. At this time, yes, the withdrawn energy is probably needed. That's what I feel. Y'all need that right now. If you ain't trying to be in nobody's face, you ain't trying to go out and date, yeah, that's that's what you need to come to terms with the fact that your twin flame didn't want to answer the call or still doesn't want to answer the call or whatever it is, okay? But don't pretend in your own face. Yeah, attachments, third parties, like they're still here. And also, let's talk about that eight, right? I told y'all, y'all flip eight on its side, you get what? The infinity symbol. So what this person sent out has to come back to them. So they're going to have to deal with some karma. Yeah, all them secrets. <laughs> this person think you don't know that they've been out here running around. Ciao, bye. We know you got some back alley sewer rats that you're running around with. You better go ahead. All right, let's see what else comes out um, in these love cards real quick. And then um, I'm going to pull some surrender cards. I am going to get the butterfly kisses out to see what y'all have to say to each other as well. I don't know why they would think that you don't know that somebody else is in their energy. Like what, what makes them like, I know you like, and, and this is specifically, I'm going to, I am going to channel one particular side of the situation. If this is a female, if this is a feminine energy over here, however you identify, but if this is a, the feminine energy over here and you think, Oh no, I'm, I'm too slick. I'm too good. The masculine energy don't know what I got going on. Use a goddamn lie. 
you lying to yourself for real, cuz. Like, for real. Like, this person also may have been cheating and you thought that he couldn't feel that you was a little bit different on the inside. Child, listen, I ain't trying to get in nobody's business, but there are some feminine energies that are not standing in the upright. Y'all know I read for everybody. There are a lot of masculines that have healed. There are a lot of masculines that are out here looking for their counterpart that want to align and come into union. And there's the female that's running around with her little back alley sewer rat. So let's be clear. There's a feminine that thinks, or a group of feminines that think that they're real slick and they're not. You're not, sis. All the yoni steams in the world is not going to be able to put them walls back together. Ooh. Mm. That might have been the wrong thing to say, but we'll we'll keep it moving. Either way. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. That even stung me a little bit, sis. I apologize for delivering it that way, but the truth still stands the same. <laughs> Auntie love you. All right. Bye. Ooh. All right, let's go to the left side. Pat, mm, they know who you, listen, they know who you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Past lives, you have known each other. You have known this person before. It is a soulmate from a past. I because people be thinking I be on here lying. Like, she don't know what she's talking about. Bitch, yes, I do. Twin flame on one side, past life on the other side. Now, they may not know twin flame. They may not know that verbiage. They may only know soulmate or this just seems like someone I knew in another life. Something like that. I don't know what's going on on YouTube. So many damn commercials when you just be trying to listen to your Reiki on YouTube. It's the rudeness for me. Okay, moving forward. Back to the left side. What, what's the next card you got? <sighs> they do not plan on coming back anytime soon. I've already said that. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That's because that's what they want. Because why? Multiple choices. They hot and cold. They don't know what they want. They're all over the place. Chasing thrills, having a good time with third parties. So, no, this person is not ready. They are not ready. Caution, warning. <laughs> Unrequited feelings. There's not enough love to keep this relationship going in a healthy way. This person feels like they don't even, you don't understand them. They don't understand you. This person has a genuine love for you, though. You can overcome any issues that may arise. Maybe that's what they're hoping for because we did get the hoping card. But the cards that fell out is the cards that I feel. This person feels like they have known you, but maybe they don't understand you. You and your crystals, you and your cards, you and your readings, you and your spirituality, you and your growing, you and your adulting. This person just wants to be a kid forever. I just heard Toys R Us kid. This person just wants to be a kid forever. This is the, I'm also feeling something like, even if they make like really good money and all their bills are paid, they still have a childish and mature nature about them. There's still no childhood healing. There's still no real maturity. Just because you pay your bills and you got money, you think you should just be able to just keep staying immature and shallow and, all right, right side. Let me shuffle that again, just in case, Jesus. Oof. Again, with the solo solo trip, solo mission, going out by yourself more often, movies, spa trips, happy hour, feeling that heavy on the right side. I'm, I'm oh, I didn't even see. Did y'all see that come out? You about to have a new love that's going to be a magnetic connection. So pay attention to the signs. Oh, shit. A new chapter begins, whether it's a new partner. Well, we know it ain't this situation over here. Let's we'll see if these cards come out. Oh, somebody who oh, 50 Shades said I got them. Well, girl, pass that energy around. Everybody get a sip of 50 Shades um, energy because she already got her person. And um, we ain't trying to we ain't trying to siphon now. All right. Let's be clear. You know, what I mean, it's just one of those. Sis, let me get a little bit of that fairy dust. All right. Tinkerbell. Let me. <laughs> Fairy dust up off you. <laughs> Are you selling it on Etsy? Because I'll stop by and get a ooh, child, a whole barrel. Let's go on the right side. Wishing you the best, though, Fifty Shades. Stay optimistic, positive thinking, and faith will bring romance into your life. So, right side, either way, stay. Like I said, stay. It's it's probably not going to be this person right now. Okay, it probably won't. It probably won't be that person. I'm just going to keep it funky. 
Overthinking, playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which weren't there at first. That distracted, sidetracked energy. It's time to change that. Get out of your head. That love isn't for you. I'm just, I'm here and I'm just going to be single and get these millions and make my brand a household name. And you're going to do all that and get a love of your life. So stay optimistic. Stop with the overthinking. Just one more here. Actions speak louder than words. If you, if you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. And that's exactly what the hell you're doing. You don't want to hear nothing from this person because their energy, their actions, that's enough. But I'm also hearing as you move forward to start dating a new love, right? For my ladies, maybe you want your doors opened. Maybe you want someone to text in the middle of the day, ask how you're doing. My fellas, maybe you want that lady to make sure that you ate. Did you get home safe, babe? Did they work you too hard today? So make sure that somebody is showing up the way that you want to be treated and want to be handled. I'm hearing and I'm hearing handled in a couple different ways because I just heard a whip go quatch. I'm not into whips and chains, but you do what you want to late night. In law of attraction, you have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. There it is. Fifty shades. You already got yours, baby. Now just keep on manifesting what that next step is. But the rest of y'all, it's time. Just stay in alignment with what you want. You don't want somebody that's going to play with your time, then don't entertain nobody playing with your time. If you want to, if you want that late night drive through, have it your way, then go ahead and do that. But don't, don't look at that person as someone who you can invest this big life with when they're not giving you that. They're not calling you throughout the day. They don't care if you ate or not today. They don't care if, if you got through your surgery, all right? Like if you're not getting that type of, then that's not the person I'm talking about. All right, let's go to surrender cards real quick. I think I can do a few questions at the end of the reading if anybody wants to stick around. I haven't done that in a while, so I'll do a few yes, no readings. Someone on the left side has a rowdy friend, family member, or lover. Thank you so much for the roses, love bug. Um, <clears throat> let me just say this, because it's not going to resonate for everybody, and everybody's not an aggressive type person. But I'm hearing someone on the left side, like, and if that person on the right, if they get flipped, I'm running in their shit. First of all, if this is a cousin, a mom, a dad, or whoever, stay in your lane. That's the reason why this person all fucked up anyways, because they trying to take in consideration everybody's information. Mom says you should do that. Cousin says you should do that. Your friends tell you to do this and you trying to appease everybody. That's why you all fucked up over here anyways. Secondly, this person on the right side does not care. They don't care. And don't walk up on them like you about to do something because you might end up in a body cast by the end of the night. So at the end of the day, Stay over there with your family member, friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, husband, whoever it is. But if you get to going like this to somebody over here, you going to end up fucked up. So just listen what they say, because if you fuck around, you find out you fuck around with this person on the right side, you will find out they have been through too much shit to keep going through shit off of this person. So anyone who's thinking about. If you're a family member or a friend, like I'm going to go tell your twin flame about themselves, you might want to rethink that because this person has a lot pent up and on your ass is where they will go. Do you understand? Leave it alone. And that's male or female because somebody has like a brother that's like, yeah, and if they keep talking to you crazy, then you're going to find out. So simmer down, right? I don't know why people over here are like ready to have an issue with you. This person might have lied and said like you did it all and you upset them and moving on so they have a rowdy person and if you know them to have a rowdy person who would be spewing out like i don't know i don't even want to call them threats because they feel real bubble gum somebody's real bubble gum all right two cards for the left side i just heard so you just gonna tell all the business yeah i'm gonna tell all the business how you gonna talk about you gonna run up in somebody's house or run up in somebody's mouth or whatever you gonna do, N do it Talking all that bullshit about something you don't know. That's crazy to me. And why is your family and friends ready to fight your ex? Like what? Yet again, another reveal of how childish this situation on the left side is. I'm sorry. We too grown to be getting locked up. If I'm getting locked up, baby, I'm getting locked up. Do you hear me? 
<laughs> you're going to need the code to get my 401k to get me out. I'm Listen, you're going to have to dig up. Uh, listen, child, bye. I don't know. Somebody's rowdy over here about the person. I don't know. Two cards on the left. Johnny Cochran going to have to come back from the dead to, to, to defend me. Do you hear me? I'm telling you now. Especially if you know that their family, specifically family or close, close friends get in their business a lot. Somebody is like, I've been waiting for a moment to cuss them out. No, the hell you haven't because you would have did it. You would have did it 10 years ago when we was dating or 20 years ago when we was married. Or you would have did it then when you came to my house for Christmas, you would have did it. Or when you was around for that barbecue, you would have did it. Or wherever the fuck you seen me last time, you would have did it. So whoever this is that's trying to get you outside yourself, y'all walk away. I know I'd be funny in here. But I'm going to tell you like this. If they touch the tip of your nose with their pinky, wear they ass the fuck out. All right, moving on. <laughs> I say that all the time. All you got to do is touch me on the tip of my nose with your pinky finger and I'm going to wear you out like you was trying to kill me. You hear me? <laughs> and I stand on that. <laughs> all right. Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. This person also I'm hearing free yourself. I'm seeing the birds in the background. Somebody knows that they're not the happiest in this situation, but I just feel like it's just what they know, what they like to do. But y'all know I still, even if I give you a hard message, I'm going to still give you some love. It's time for you to surrender to the joy of what makes you happy. And I don't know that standing behind these people and what they want for you makes you happy. Just a heads up. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. All right, let's go to the right side. This person also may have been waiting for something to come in or something to happen to them or for them, for them to come back into this union. And because they think that didn't happen, that's why they didn't come back. Maybe they were supposed to get money or a house or something like that. And because that didn't happen, they were like, oh, it must not be time to come back to my person. If that makes sense. <clears throat> if not, then just leave that there. One moment. One of the cards fell. <clears throat> All right. Let's move to the right side. Yep, he, his two close girlfriends cussed me. Oh, no, we done. Because you can line them up, baby. I'm here all night, 12 rounds. <laughs> all right, right side. Oh, shit, that one slapped back at me. What? Oh, well, I told y'all, y'all person out there. <laughs> Surrender to receiving uh, support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. It is time for you. And I feel like a friend, a friend, a friend, I keep saying, I want to say family, but a friend, very close friend might say like, your eyes don't look as, you know, bright and sunny and joyful. Are you okay? Go ahead and, and release, right? Maybe you need to call your best friend and just like, you know, homie or girl, let me just release this. I don't want you to give me no risk. I just want to purge it. I just want to say it out my mouth, something like that. Others of you just need to go, when you're ready, open up that heart. Some of y'all may be like, oh no, I need to heal. Not knowing that your partner is going to help you along that mission because you need to be loved right. Some of y'all, Yes, we need personal single time to ourselves to purge things, to heal, to become one with self. But once you're at that space and you know that you have the energy to maybe let someone in, I'm hearing about 60. Why are you giving me six? OK, 65 percent of y'all. The person supposed to help you along that journey because them loving you right, them asking you how you're doing, surprises of your favorite snacks or food or flowers or all of that is, is going to help you heal. There are certain things that some of y'all need to physically live through to help you heal some of those pieces, right? I never got flowers. Well, 
I'm okay with that. I brushed it off. I forgave that person, but I still want to fulfill that dream. And as you get in this relationship, this person starts bringing you random flowers and you start to heal that piece to where you don't feel gut wrenched and walking on fucking eggshells of whether or not this person is really going to do something better than the last person did. You ever get in a relationship and you feel like somebody's not going to fulfill the, but then they start to, and it's like, okay, well, well, look at that. They did bring me lunch. Well, look at that. They text me randomly in the day. Well, look at that. Made me see the back of my kneecaps and made me come three times last night. Like, <laughs> whatever it is. I don't know where that last part came from, but either way, I'm just saying, some of y'all will heal some of the pieces um, as you continue to go into your new relationship. All right. <laughs> Back to the right side. Thank you. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to creative ideas about how to pursue a dream. And I'm hearing and solve a problem. One of the problems, again, could be with love. It could be something else. But one thing is supporting your dreams, your goals, your manifestations, the future of wherever it is that you're going. The other side is to help you heal and or solve the problems that you may have had from anywhere from 2018 to 2023. So maybe somebody was paying debt, paying taxes, maybe growing in your career. So there's two things here on the right side that I'm hearing. One is to manifest, pursue your dreams, affirm what you want. We don't say, and God, don't bring me. We go, and God, I'm aligning with. I thank you for, right? And send gratitude. The other side is any problems you have. Let's look at it from a different perspective. And at the bottom of the deck is surrender to silence in quiet meditation or contemplation. Let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. Okay. All right. Let's get some butterfly kisses out here. Y'all ready? Ooh, I feel like I need to clean this up. Let me clean this up real quick. Thank y'all again for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. Make sure you follow me over on YouTube. The Healing Butterfly is my only channel. Again, The Healing Butterfly is my only channel. If TikTok wants to keep acting crazy and not letting me download, I'm going to just start doing videos over there, um, whether I go live or I load. So make sure that you follow me over there because that's where I can post the full videos at. All right. And yes, somebody might have said, do you have like a timeline or a week? What I do weekly? I'm going to post that in the next two weeks. I did come up with a new lineup um, to where everybody can get the readings that they need and they'll know when I'm going to be online, right? You know that your, what, your WTF love reading is going to come on a Tuesday or your finance reading coming on a Wednesday. I'm going to have a whole lineup for y'all, okay? All right, let's get into the butterfly kisses. Let's get, to, let's get into it. See what you and your person have to say to one another. Also could confirm who they are. Times of the year that situations may take place. If anyone is interested, I have one deck, one available. That's it. So if you would like that last deck, please go to my Etsy shop. I am not 100% that I'm getting um, more printed, um, but we'll see. All right, let's see what you and your person have. Oh, Jesus, let it be good. <laughs> let it be good. All right, what messages do you and your person? Yep, I gave up too soon. Walked away too soon. Thinking back on the past and weighing in on current circumstances, someone knows that they should have given more to the connection. They folded too soon and they lost the golden pot. They lost you. You're gone. Run away, run away love. Is that Mary J. Blige? Run away love. Sitting at the dock of the bay. <laughs> you don't get your lonely ass off that dock. Z or L, initials of their name, your name, or it could be a person that's in the midst of the situation, even like their third party. Okay. How deep is your love? Oh, that's to my heart. How deep is your love? If you know that song by the Bee Gees. Um, I want you or you wanted them. You didn't need them. There's a genuine connection here. This person is not looking to take advantage of the situation or of someone's circumstances. However, they be damned if you take advantage of their good heart. You were willing to give this person everything that you had, but you'd be damned if they use, they use you up. You get what I'm saying? Equal give and take here. I'm also hearing that's why they couldn't handle you. 
because you handle you handle it all yourself. You pay your bills, you, anything that you want, you get any vacations you want to go on, any clothes you want to buy. There's there's whatever you want, you get. But this person didn't understand that you were looking for support and emotional, you know, em, emotional give and take and love and a, and a safe space to be in. Like you weren't looking for external. Now, it's nice to get the externals. Let's be clear. But you were looking for someone that was going to be emotionally available to you, that wanted to grow in a life with you, learn you, have fun with you, have adventures with you. This person was all looking like, well, I can't pay your bills and, and I can't give you things. And so they felt like they had nothing left. Heart chakra, love, compassion, balance, and unity. They loved you. Let's be clear. I'm hearing, let's be clear. I always loved you. So whether that's, they always loved you. Just didn't know how to take care of you. You didn't come with instructions. I just heard you didn't come with, in no one comes with instructions. My Well, let me be clear. Cause them back alley sewer rats, <laughs> they come with instructions. <laughs> we know how to take care of a back alley sewer rat now. Them French porch possums, we we know what they came here for, right? Give them a couple scraps, they'll be fine. Um, so confused. None of this makes sense. There's confusion surrounding the situation. Someone is in the dark or feels they are being kept in the dark. I feel like, again, I feel like you just, it's not adding up because one and one is always two. And because you keep giving me five, six, eight, 10, and 12, I'm just going to leave you where you're at. Everything that they were feeding you just wasn't adding up. It wasn't adding up. And you got tired of being confused in it. Yeah, if you gave me clarity, honesty, and forgiveness, we might be able to do something. It takes time. I'm sorry, it's time to be transparent, open, and honest. Reveal the truth, give and accept forgiveness, then decide what is best for yourself. Which, again, this person didn't give you, so you still decided what was best for yourself, and that was to protect your heart. We'll get into that one. Crown chakra, wisdom, spirituality, union, and connection. So this person was given love, or at least they thought they were given some form of love. You were trying to open them up to something deeper. That crown chakra energy means that I know that me and you have, have some type of soul connection. It's not just lust. It's not just love, right? This is something deep. And this person turned around to just kiss me hard, fuck me harder. Oh, okay. Like you could have been saying some real romantic, passionate, and babe, you just light up my heart and I just love when you this and I love when you that. And they're like, you know what? I feel the same way. Let me sit on your face. Really? So you don't want to say you love me back? Like that's, <laughs> I feel like it, it was just on some, some raunchiness sometimes with this person when you were trying to be like mushy and lovable and they was on 50 shades of gray. Okay. What is it? I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to rock. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I want to rock right now. That's what I'm hearing. So this person must have been on that booty bounce type. Shake it. Shake it for me, mama type of thing. I don't know. Time for a change. Someone feels it is time for a change. Time to let go of the past and go toward the new things calling your heart and your soul. So you don't you got I got it. I got to go. I don't want to leave. But I gotta go right now is what I just <laughs> I'm hearing everybody plays the fool sometimes. Yes. Didn't I say this this is all this person? 69 is still in the corner of their mind. We're all grown around here. And if we're not grown around here, you need to take your little ass to bed because you got school in the morning. Okay. I'm only gonna tell you once. If you ain't over the age of 18, you'd ski daddle. But we're all grown around here, serving them while they serve you, order up. So like I said, you could have been real mushy and we have soulmates and we're twin flames and they was like, bust it open for a real nigga. Like, <laughs> this person love how you do what you do though, I'll tell you that. All right, three more cards and I'm out of here. I got to see that. Summertime, June, July, and August, season of the year that something significant did or will occur in your life. All right, I'm taking that and nothing else, all right? <laughs> Heavy with the fire sign. We got fire sign energy here, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We got the train outside. 
fire and desire. There's a spark that burns deep between these two people, a passion that's still, yeah, this person's still on fire talking about 69 all over the goddamn place. Now they're talking about them passionate kisses and touches. I get so lost in your lip, train again, uh, in your lips, kisses, touches, and love, passionately craving every part of you. Like I said, somebody want to sit on somebody's face or somebody wants them to somebody to sit on their face. Either way, <laughs> I can still taste you mm, good, craving you. The memory is tap dancing on their palate. Want you served up hot and ready. Well, but you're not an option. I am not an option. Do you understand? It's clear there's more than needed in a two-party relationship, and this person shall not be a part of your shenanigans. Your shenanigans are out of control. You just want to tap me in to tap this, and then you're going to run out. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. uh -uh yeah. No. I'm here. No. <laughs> Could be an earth sign, a Taurus Virgo, or a Capricorn in the midst of the situation. I or V could be initials of their name, your name, or someone else in the midst of the situation. Autumn, September, October, November is giving me heavy birthday energy. Okay, season of the year. But it could be anything season of the year that something significant did or will occur in your life. B or O, initials of your name, this person's name, or someone else in the mix-up of this situation. Oh, well, saying goodbye broke them into pieces. I didn't want to leave, but I had to go. It was the best thing for me and my growth, but it hurt like hell. But you're not growing, though. I'm going to shut up. That wasn't right. It might have been right, so I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to move on to the next card. I stalk your social media. Sneaky fingers, shifty eyes. Someone is keeping tabs on that profile. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. Um... Some of them be, might be looking you up on like LinkedIn or some type of employment board that you're on. Like if you feel like, oh, I've I've turned off all my social media, but you're still on LinkedIn. It could even be that. Like they're trying to figure out what company you work for. And then they look up that company to see if you're on the company's web. This is some, who is this? That's I'm tapped into. You're on some nutty time and you need to cut it out. <laughs> And I mean that shit. You don't go on somebody's LinkedIn, figure out what company they work for, and then you go on the company's website hoping that they show up. It's like, what the? F I'm sorry. That just sounds, that sounds like you're doing, that's overkill to me. That's some overkill shit. Like, what makes you think randomly they would be one of the people in on the flyer at on the corporate website? Like, I just, what? What did y'all put on this person? Y'all had this person stuttering off that thing, didn't you? You had them slobbering on themselves in the middle of that thing, okay? That gushy gushy had somebody out here acting crazy. Or that, that pogo stick, what the hell is it made out of? Kryptonite? You got this person, like I said, flashlight during the daytime. They trying to find that ass, okay? <laughs> But they have not grown. They are not ready. Not for the serious relationship that you want. Would they give you a thrill? By all means, they'll give you a thrill. Because don't nobody do it like you do it. But they're not here for love. Well, go ahead, empathic. You better, girl. Okay? She said it would be me on the flyer. That's my damn business. I know that's, that's my company. I would bless you. Bless you, honey. I love that. But still, don't be stalking her, okay? Because auntie, she going to ride for her niece. Even though she owned the company, back the fuck up, all right? <laughs> be like Debo on your ass. All right. I'm going to take a few questions. That's the end of the reading. <laughs> oh, he stopped. Okay, he stopped looking. Well, let me put the safety back on because it was back to... <laughs> what? It was about to go there. I put the safety back on, okay? Somebody closed the trunk. We don't have to pop the trunk now. He, he stopped looking. All right, so that was... The you versus them reading. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Because <laughs> auntie don't play. That is, that's nutty. All right, I'm going to take a few questions um, before I get out of here. I got ashes from my sage stick. So let's see. All right, so let's change this energy around here. 
All right, Ashley, you are first. Will me and Jermaine, will Ashley and Jermaine get married? One more time. Will Ashley and Jermaine get married? Will Ashley and Jermaine get married, Spirit? Give me two cards. Thank you. One moment. One of the cards flew. <clears throat> I feel like someone's moving too slow and I think you fear that your heart is going to be broken off this situation. Someone that you either maybe knew from childhood or you feel like they, you know them from another lifetime. You might feel like they're a soulmate. You keep looking at this situation very hard, wondering if everything that sparked between y'all, if it's going to keep, keep that spark up or if you just need to move on and manifest a new life. Um, I feel like it has the potential, but I, I don't know if it's you or it's them that's putting a lot of weight on the relationship because things aren't maybe moving as quickly as you want to. But this person, this person, Jermaine first has to feel like a man in themselves, accomplished. So if they're going to school or trying to get a better job or trying to get a better career or something like that, that's what's going to change. Yeah, that's what's going to change our world into that two of cups situation. It's this Jermaine first has to take care of the money before fully given the heart, okay? I don't feel like there's anything sneaky going on here, but I feel like maybe you, there's some pessimistic energy around it because it hasn't moved quicker. But until he feels secure in what, in his finances, his career himself, can't offer you that other piece, can't offer you what he first has not obtained himself. So I hope that that, hope that helps. But I do feel like it has the potential, but y'all know how I talk, I talk free will. Everything that you've invested is kind of one of those questions too. Do you want to continue to invest and give him time to reach that next level? He is coming in as a king, right? A king of wands, so very passionate about something. There's something that he's passionate about until he lives out that passion, that dream, and attain the, the funds he needs. He's not going to be ready to commit on that level because he knows what that means, okay? But I don't feel like they're ready to break up or anything. Has the potential though. Okay, next... You're welcome, Ashley. Okay, next up, next up, next up. Is Val Valentine coming towards me? Is Valentine coming towards me? That's for Katie. Is Valentine coming towards Katie? Is Valentine coming towards Katie? Is Valentine coming towards Katie? You got some of the same cards as, but behind the moon, I feel like you kind of already know this situation. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, I feel like there's already kind of a guarded energy around this connection. I think you already have hesitation about him for a reason as well. Would he come towards you? Possibly. It may not be all that you want it to be, though. I keep feeling this for some reason. And I think you already kind of feel real a little leery about it for a reason. Take it for what it what it is when it comes your way. It may not be your ultimate person because I have the King of Cups down here with the Empress. So there's some growth that you have to do. And I feel like some growth that he also has to do. Do I believe it's your ultimate partner? I'm gonna be 1000% with you. No, but I feel like you and Valentine will be able to grow so that he can become who he needs to be for someone. And you can also become who you need to be for someone. Will y'all remain together? I don't, I'm just not 100% feeling it. And I feel like you don't 100% feel that either. Even though you do want to see what, what could happen between the two of you, I don't know that you 100% see the full life with them. And I, I, so if y'all do date, it's because God, spirit, universe wants you to come together to grow so that you can become the person that you ultimately need to be for your ultimate person. Okay. So I hope that helps. <laughs> All right. Next up. Let me get a good shuffle before I take the next one. Okay. But I'm hearing, uh, uh, Katie, I am hearing enjoy the time, right? Even if you could enjoy the time with each other, at least enjoy the time. You're going to have some experiences that are going to like help you grow, okay? All right, next up. Next up, next up. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, 
Um, is Matthew talking to other people? Sorry, y'all. Wouldn't it be moving? Okay, is Matthew talking? Who is that? T. T. Is Matthew talking to other people? Is Matthew? I'm going to be honest. It does seem like Matthew likes to flirt. There's something about, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to apologize because the three of swords flew out so quickly. So I do not mean to hurt anyone's feelings when I give the energies and, and read what I have. Take what resonates. But I do feel like this person likes to come off like they're single. Like they, they have this single energy. And I don't know if this is because they like to flirt or they like to see if they still got it. Or there's something about like, maybe they talk to people for like emotional reasons. Do you Maybe you feel that way. Like they're not physically cheating, but they might be an emotionally cheater or something like that. Something about this two of pentacles makes me feel like sometimes I'll come to you for something, but I might go to somebody else for something, something else. And it's like, but you're coming off with two nines, nine of cups and a nine of pentacles, which means that's single energy. That's you acting like you don't belong to somebody. But yet you're going to someone, queens of cups, where you're looking for them to give you insight and healing and emotional support. But this queen of swords is like, well, why are you not coming to me? Like I'm... I'll, I'll give you what you need. I'll give you the emotion. I'll give you the grounding. I'll, I, we can go to God about this situation, but it's almost like they keep you in the cold. So I do feel like there's some justice about this, like kind of get into your queen of wands energy, come out of that hermit, walking on eggshells and really remind this person of what y'all invested in. Um, whatever their guard up is about as well, it's time to kind of look at that situation. I don't know what they're holding on to, but they may have some hurt or some healing that they need to do. This may be about a person that passed away because I almost feel like this five of cups feel like I'm at a, a graveyard. So um, whatever they're going to to other people to have someone else hear them out, I feel like because you come off sometimes like the queen of swords, very logical, they're not looking for that. They want someone to be, I guess, emotional with them. Um, and as a queen of swords, as a Libra, I kind of resonate with that. Sometimes I'm coming, I'm coming off like I'm looking for to answer your question. I'm trying to give you a resolution versus just letting you be emotional in this moment. So that may be a way of turning this around is having the conversation. But also when they want you to just be emotional with them and just let them just get it out, just let them just get it out. Don't look for a logical way of trying to heal it. Okay. Um, again, not looking to hurt your feelings. I don't think there's a heartache, heartbreak, jealousy thing here, but I do think it's hurtful that somebody, that this person goes to someone else for that emotional when you're their person or you're their partner or something like that. Okay. So yes, but I don't think it's intentional to break your heart or anything. Okay. All right. Okay. Who's next? I'm going to do two more and I'm going to get up out of here. Oh, is that Nada Groomer? Oh, and, and, and Heather G. Okay. Let's go. They're moving too fast. I didn't see what Nate put up there. <laughs> I'm Nay, I'm sorry. It moved too quickly. <laughs> I do keep seeing a Sergio name popping up here. Uh, does my... Oh, goodness gracious. Does my husband Sergio still love me? For Roxy. And then I'm going to come back. Nay, I got you. It's my current... Okay. Does, uh, does Sergio still love Roxy? Sergio is in his bag. <laughs> Sergio is in his bag. And when I say in his bag, I mean literally in his bank account, in his pockets, in his in his wallet. <clears throat> yeah. Um I'm I can't even I can't even read through love right now for Sergio. Sergio's eye is on the prize. And that's not to say that he doesn't still love you. I think there is. So yeah, three of pentacles with the queen of wands probably still find you very attractive as well. Um, but right now, two of yeah, two of swords, there that's not his focus. His focus is just not on love. I don't even know that it's on lust. It's giving me this three of cups, it's giving me like I might go out to network after work, you know, get some beers, grab some drinks with the guys, because I just want to network. But this, we got the king of pentacles, the emperor, and the ace of pentacles with the world, this person's trying to change their world. They're trying to change their outcome. They're trying to reach that next million or whatever it is. So do they find you attractive? Yes. Is it? Do they find you as someone that they could possibly work with in the future? Yes. But it's just not their focus right now. Their focus is on this money. Their focus is on making something big happen in their life. So if, whether they own a business, their career, something about their finances is, is their primary focus. Friendships, networking, those type of things. But I... There's not one, other than the three of cups, there's no real love sitting down here. But the queen of wands, 
they find you fiery. They find you attractive. There's definitely some love there. It's just not their primary focus. I don't think their heart is just open to being mushy gushy with love right now. But there is some love there. Just very focused on his dollars. Okay. And then Nay. I know Nay the groom. Are you still here, my love? You're welcome, love. Find you very attractive. Even if you don't like like your love handles or if you have love handles, I don't know. If you might have like a little extra pudge here or there, loves to like either touch it or put their face on it or their lips on it. I don't know. Maybe even, I don't know if they motorboat your boobs, Roxy. I don't know. It's a lot going on, Roxy. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> All right, Nay. Um, next. I'm sorry, love. What was your question? One more again. current oh is the current situation permanent thank you love for putting that in there one more again okay is the current situation permanent i ain't gonna put you on blast nay but i know that we've had it we got together recently not too long ago something tells me um, to tell you to run it back dj so play that video back that last connection we had um there might be a, a there might be something in there all right I feel like I touched on this in the last one too. Okay, let's see. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. King, okay. Let me get two more cards before I speak. does definitely okay makes sense okay this person definitely and i feel i'm gonna be honest i think you're more the empress energy but i feel like this person is just not giving enough right just not giving enough and i don't know if they have multiple jobs or just a lot of things that pull at their at their heartstrings or something like that i feel like there's a lot going on with this person so they're only able to give you night level energy right now even though they come off like a king or queen i feel you're more at this empress energy because I've talked about something about you having um, new business and things revving up in your life. And I feel like you've already seen some momentum. So that's why you're giving me this Empress energy. This other person is a King of Cups, but they got too much on their plate right now to fully give you everything. But the Six of Cups here is telling me that it could be something that could grow, right? Um, I don't know if someone or some some weird or some heartbreak that someone needs to look at or discuss, but they can only give you a night level right now. Right. And that comes with the pentacles, meaning to be able to give you real time, real energy, even if it's not a money exchange. Right. I know people talk about the pentacles as money, but it's an energy exchange. So they don't have a lot of time and energy, but they also haven't fully opened their heart just yet either. Right. For certain things they're not they're not able to give you that same empress level love. So I would say enjoy the time. But until this person can give you more and they actually do that, I would not keep pouring a lot into this one day. I'm going to just be honest. You deserve someone that's going to give you that equal give and take as you're showing up like an empress. You actually want an emperor down here. And right now, it just seems like it's moving slow and it's just trickles. It's just little trickles of moments. Seems really like seems like you enjoy it because we got the six of wands. Like y'all have a good time. And they don't mind going out with you, but it's just not enough. I feel like you want something deeper than this. Something more consistent than this. Okay. So I hope that I hope that resonates, but it just seems like. It it could pick up, but this person has to give more. Two nights is just not what I want to see in your love life. I'm going to just be honest, love. Okay? All right. Not getting all you need from it. Yeah, with two nights on the board, you're not. You're coming up like, and we already talked about you've already had your ascension. So night level, lo night level of time and energy and night level of, a, of love is just not enough. Not for an empress. A king level ain't even enough for an emperor. So a knight damn sure ain't going to get it. So that's all I, I can say about that. This person has too much on their plate to kind of open up. And it may be because they need to heal some things. All righty. Who's next? Oh, Heather G. I did say I was circling back to you, my love. General clarity guidance. Okay. General clarity and guidance. Nay, I hope that helped. But definitely run that back, that last video back. I feel like there's some gems in there. I feel like I talked about the beginning of 2024 for you, too. Okay. All right. Heather G. All right, love. Thank you so much. 
I appreciate you sending you lots of love as well. Miracles and blessings. All right, Heather G. Just general. Gonna look at my Callie girl. Hey, Callie. Hey, Nisi. Judgment. All right. Five of Swords. Mm. Um, uh, Heather G, I'm hearing, you know I'm back, I'm back. You uh, it's Michael Jackson. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Page of Cups. Okay, I'll get that in a second. Heather G, get ready, baby. You get ready. You don't see it coming. Um, I'm hearing somebody, try people tried to play you. This could be with your money. This could be with your time. This could be with your heart. People tried to play you over the last probably about two to three years, not paying you what you deserve, not recognizing you for who you are. Um, judgment's about to get hit with somebody. If you've ever felt like someone stole something from you, a job, an opportunity, talking about you, slandering your name, keep it, trying to keep a foot on your neck, or if you just even felt over the last about two to three years, you've had a foot on your neck, that's about to change. You got the Wheel of Fortune in the World card. You don't see it um, happening just yet, and you may need to make a difficult decision. If you've been at a certain company for a long time and you haven't been given that bonus, you haven't been given that grace to move up or move out, it's time for you to make that decision. The Emperor card with the lovers. Yeah, lady, you've been waiting too long, juggling opportunities too long. You're playing too small. In order for this Wheel of Fortune and this World card to bless, it, bless you in your life, you have to do the unthinkable, the things that you probably don't want to do, like cutting people off, leaving that job, cutting out that old lover, things of that nature. Everything you want is in the future, but it's going to be some difficult decisions to get there. And that may be saying no, having healthy boundaries, but judgment is in the works for you right now. This is definitely your year of your dharma, your good karma, but that's going to come with you making some healthier decisions for yourself. And it may, may be difficult, maybe difficult to cut off a family member. It may be difficult to walk away from someone who's been in your life for a long time. But in order for you to have that emperor, meaning that that leadership, that that empire, that that forever blessing and, and being stable, for you to find that lover that matches your vibration, for you to stop having to wait and actually have what you need to come into you, you got to make some difficult decisions. So you've been juggling some things. But in order to have that equal give and take love, you got to take, I'm hearing taking justice into your own hands. Time to cut out some people. And I'm hearing you already know who these people are. Or it's a job. Playing too small. The blessing, I'm hearing the blessing is on the other side of the door. You just have to open it up and walk through it. And when you walk through it, everybody and all that baggage can't come with you. Okay. I hope. I really hope that makes sense. Thank you, Callie girl. All right. I'm going to take one more question. And then Auntie going to go and come up out of here. All right, Heather G, I hope that helped you, my love. All right. Let's shuffle in. You're welcome, love bug. Don't be afraid to speak up, Heather G. Don't let a title or someone's uh, relationship with you or the fact that that's the CEO of the company, don't let any of that make you afraid to speak up and claim your blessings, okay? All right. You're a welcome, love. You're welcome. All right. Who's next? One more. One more. Uh, the Empress Amber, your current love life status. Current love life status. I, I, hmm, I see you on like a vacation. I see you going on vacation. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're about to have some adventures. So I, I, I'm gonna be honest. If you feel like you're not getting something out of somebody, and it doesn't feel like it's a relationship. It's like, oh no, I kick it with so-and-so and so-and-so is real cool or whatever. It's time for you to go out and fulfill whatever your ninth cup. That ninth cup is that solo cup. It's a single energy. So there's adventures that God wants you to have. There's something about going out there and having fun, enjoying your single life or enjoying a solo life. I know we're here about love. I'm gonna keep pulling. Let's see what else comes out here. Oh, come on, Queen of Wands. Oh yeah, Queen of Wands, fill up the room. Go out there and have your independence, as you see this is here as well. There's so I see you. So you must be a highly attractive person. 
I'm seeing that. I'm seeing you turning heads. I see you on vacation. I see you having a good time out and about. I think there is love coming for you, love, but I don't, I think first God is pushing you out there to go have adventures, to go enjoy life a little bit, to go have fun, go do something spontaneous. Just And in the midst of you just enjoying who you are and just loving on yourself, you are one of those people where love is going to creep up on you. Four of Wands. That, that happy life, happy wife, milestones to the happy, you know, kids with the white picket fence or however you see your life in the future. Ooh, one moment. Yeah, but to get there is the temperance energy, having the right balance, right? Having first you have, there's a, there's a life purpose and there are life milestones that you first have to do on your own. And it's going to light something inside of you that'll then call in this person to then want to, Get on this journey with you. Six of pent. Didn't I say the eight of cups goes to the nine? The nine is a single energy wish coming true. So there might be some five of cups past situations that didn't work out that you first have to purge. But you purge it by having fun and loving and enjoying you. Also something about your wounds um, being your stepping stones. So maybe someone did hurt your feelings in the past. Maybe you were rejected in love in the past, but it's like, but you made me so much better. All the times when you made me feel like I wasn't enough, I look in the mirror now and I know I am the most gorgeous thing walking around here. It's something about that. But in order for you to align with the love of your life, God first wants you to experience you and to love on you a little bit more. But it doesn't feel like sitting around meditating all day. It feels like adventures. It feels like fun. It feels like solo vacations. It feels like random happy hours. It just feels like enjoying life again. Um, so I do feel like love is coming. But first, just enjoy your solo time. Um, because once you got somebody sipping all your juice in the middle of the night or eating your leftovers that you done bought from the hibachi from last night, you're going to be pissed off. So enjoy <laughs> your solo time <laughs> for right now. And um, yes, there's something about you being just so gorgeous. Like you're going to be snapping next, especially while you're on vacation. There is something about one particular bathing suit is going to have people wrapped up. So Get the, the real racy bathing suits, go on the amazing vacations, ride the ATVs, do the zip line and have fun because your person, I feel like you're going to probably possibly meet them while you're having an adventure. And that's going to spark something in both of y'all to kind of start something. Okay. All righty. All righty. All righty. Oh, y'all have been amazing. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. I think I seen a question from, um, from my Cali girl. What was the question, love bug? You're welcome, Empress. Get, I'm hearing passport stamps. Do you like, you, if you like nice things, I, I feel like you're going to buy like maybe like a Chanel passport case or a Louis Vuitton. Like, you better do that thing. Okay, miss. Okay. All right. I think I seen Cali girl. Cali, you had a question, my love. Let me scroll up real quick. Oh, your love life. Okay. Love life. Um, I got you, Nisi. It's been a minute since we connected. I got you. I got you. I got you. I am hearing something about talk your shit, Callie. So whatever you've been saying, it's the truth. And some people just can't swallow it. Some people just can't swallow it. I'm not feeling that energy. Please give me... True jumpers. For Callie in love. I'm feeling like somebody's messages fall flat with you. Yeah, somebody, yes, yeah, somebody's messages fall a little flat with you. This is kind of coming back with some of the cards that Nay got as well. Somebody's messages feel like they like you might. You might really build your person up like and I hope you have a great day and that God blesses you and that the angels intercede on your behalf. And I just feel like you are that person. But somebody feels real dry, like, yeah, thanks. You have a good day, too. And it's like, are you serious? Like, I just gave you all this and that's all you're giving me. It's like you might be waiting too long for this person to kind of really celebrate with you. Um, so if someone's not giving you all that juicy goodness that you're giving them love, pull back immediately. I got the 10 of wands over there. I didn't go pick it up, but that just, it's just going to burden you because you're looking for somebody to reciprocate. I do feel like there is a king of cups energy that could be around you. Um, 
That would be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Is this a friend? You might have a friend that's a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that likes you a lot more than <laughs> than you think. You may not even really be that for, like for, formally attracted, but this seems like a second person who y'all communicate, but they just, they got their guards too high. They're defended. They're like defending, defending themselves in love, right? They only let people get but so close. There's a King of Cups energy that's coming towards you that really has a lot of love to give. And I'm hearing the kid... Are you wondering about, are you worried about the kids, someone loving your kids the right way, being a good, upstanding person in front of your kids, um, not just coming in your life and then running off and now your kids feel like they missed that person? You don't want that to happen again, I heard. Um, it will not. There's one person that I feel like you are in communication with that spirit says, go ahead and leave them alone. Page of Cups is just not enough love. And the Seven of Wands means that they're always defensive on things. Page of Wands means that their communication is not as consistent or it's not as deep as it really needs to be for someone like you. Empress, you're more aligned with this King of Cups over here situation, especially with the Ace of Cups that they're bringing. It's like somebody may not have all the finances in the world. Um, they may have some more stability that they need to get with, but they definitely have that equal exchange of love and care and support, genuine, unconditional, right? So if there's two different people, this person over here, which has more wand energy, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sag, that person I feel like, especially because the three of wands, they have you waiting. I will go towards the cups, the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, who if nothing else, y'all can have like a tight friendship, have fun, enjoy each other, and be a safe, like emotional space for one another. And you never know, y'all might be able to kick it every now and again if that's what y'all want to do. <laughs> All righty. Okay. You're welcome, Callie girl. I hope that helped. I hope that helped. I'm sorry, y'all. Auntie about to get a headache around this piece. So I'm going to get up out of here. Um, I do plan on being back. I will have that line up for y'all. I know y'all are like, when are you going to be here throughout the week? I've got so many emails about that. I am not doing personals at this time. Um, so my apologies. I keep sending out apologies. I'm not doing personals at this time, but I will try to come on live as much as possible. Um, Diane, you've been waiting this whole time to get guidance. Let me get you um, a quick, 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 quick message. Um, you are so welcome. Diane, I'm Diane B333, especially because you got 333 and I've been getting 333 all week. Real quick, real quick. You're confused because you haven't seen things um, publicly, right? Or you haven't seen things manifest in your bank account. You haven't gotten that promotion just yet, but it's all in the stars. You know that the stars are aligned for you at this time. Um, no, someone or something did not come to steal your blessing. So if you've been listening to readings and readings like, oh, it's coming. It's coming in the first two weeks of January or something like that. I'm not feeling a timeline, so I don't want to tell you a timeline. But whatever it is, I feel like um, you've had little trinkles of blessings, little little things. Maybe you want a $10 scratch off or something like that. But I just here to tell you that something is coming in with energy. Just hasn't happened yet. It's coming in. Make sure that you look at all of your documents before you sign on the dotted line for anything. This could be for a job. This could be for a new house. This could be for anything. Right now, I feel like your own thoughts are getting in your way. Keep manifesting. Keep staying optimistic. Something about remove your pessimistic energy and or your second thoughts, right? It's happening for you. It's happening for you. Someone's going to be revealed that they're not a good person. Be on the lookout for that. I don't necessarily think they're trying to stab you in the back. I just feel like somebody has the, some effed up ways that they view the world and it's just not healthy for you. Somebody also may keep you in your head. Like, well, you didn't get that check yet. Well, maybe it just ain't coming. If you have somebody like that around you, mm -mm. no pessimistic thoughts, only positive because the first cards that you got was the six of wands and the star, which is your wish fulfillment, good fortune, public recognition, having that big blessing. But it just seems like other people keep you in your head. So, mm -mm. Queen of Swords, make sure you, you take control of your thoughts, okay? And look at any legal documents before you sign on the dotted line. All right, loves, I got to go. I appreciate you all. Have a peaceful, loving evening. Um, y'all know how I am. Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until we meet again, take care of yourself and your soul. All right? Namaste. Love y'all. Love y'all so much. I'll try to download it and put it on YouTube, but if not, I'm just going to record over there on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Love y'all for being here. Thank you so much. Have a good night. 
Namaste.